Good morning and welcome. I'm Ms. Grew, a fourth grade teacher with the Gulfport School District. Today we're going to be talking about comparing numbers. Our learning goal and I can statement for this lesson is I can compare two multi-digit numbers based on meanings of the digits in each place using greater than, equal to, and less than symbols to record the results of comparisons. Our first vocabulary word we're going to talk about is compare. This means to decide if numbers, amounts, or sizes are greater than, less than, or equal to each other. The equal sign is a symbol that means is the same value as. The greater than symbol, a symbol used to compare two numbers when the first is greater than the second. The less than symbol, a symbol used to compare two numbers when the first is less than the second. Our first practice problem we're going to do is we're comparing 1,423 and 1,354. Whenever we compare numbers, we always want to stack them on top of each other to make it a little bit easier for us to make sure that we're lining up our digits and we're comparing the correct place values. So I'm going to rewrite my numbers. I have 1,423. And in order to make sure I'm lining them up, always check with that ones place. So I'm going to write this number starting with the ones place. So I can make sure all my digits are lined up where they're supposed to be. So I'm going to first look at my largest place value, which is my thousands place. They are the same. So I'm going to have to go next door to my hundreds place. In my hundreds place, I have 400 and 300. I know that four hundreds is larger than three hundreds. So I'm going to circle that number, 1,423. I'm rewriting my two numbers. And then I'm going to pick whether I'm going to use the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. We said that the four in our first number, the 400s, was larger than our 300s in our second number. If the first number is larger than the second number, you're going to use the greater than symbol. So our answer is 1,423 is greater than 1,354. Let's get started with our next problem using a place value chart. We're going to be comparing 1,123 and 1,421 using a place value chart. So in our place value chart, our smallest place is our ones place, which is on the right, and we go all the way to the hundred thousands on our left. Whenever we go to input our numbers in the place value chart, we always wanna make sure that we start with the ones place. So in my first number, 1,123, I have three ones, two tens, 100, and 1,000. In my second number, 1,421, I have one one, two tens, four hundreds, and one thousands. When we compare numbers, we always want to look at the largest place value first. In these two numbers, our largest place value is the thousands place. Both of these numbers have a one in the thousands place. So since I can't compare whether they're greater or less, they're equal, I'm going to move to my next place, which is the hundreds place. So I'm going to kind of draw a line through this so that we know that we couldn't compare the thousands place to decide which number was greater or less. So now we're going to move to the hundreds. In my first number, I have 100. In my second number, I have 400s. I know that 400s is greater than 100s. Therefore, 1,123 is less than 1,421. In our next problem, we're comparing 1,237 and 987. We don't have a place value chart, but that's okay. We can stack our numbers on top of each other and still compare them the same way. So I'm going to rewrite 1,237. I'm now going to rewrite 987, but I'm going to make sure I line it up using the ones column. Now these numbers have a different amount of digits. The first one has four digits and it goes to the thousands place. The second number only has three digits. So when there's nothing 
In front, we're going to add a zero as a placeholder to help us compare. So remember from our last problem, whenever we compare numbers, we always start with the largest place value. In this particular problem, our largest place value is the thousands place. In my first number, I have 1,000. In my second number, I don't have any thousands. So automatically we know that our first number is going to be larger because 1,000 is greater than zero thousands. So therefore, 1,237 is greater than 987. Great job. Okay, now we're moving into five digit numbers, which is their 10 thousandths place. We're going to be comparing 23,643 and 23,987 using a place value chart. So remember, whenever we put our numbers into our place value chart, we always want to start putting them in at the ones place. This makes sure we don't skip any place values. And I'm going to input my second number, 23,987. That's seven ones, eight tens, nine hundreds, three thousands, and two ten thousands, which would be 20,000. So looking at my place value chart, we always want to start with the largest place whenever we are comparing numbers, and that will be my 10 thousandths place. So I'm going to start with my 10 thousandths place. My digits are the same, so I'm going to keep moving down my place value chart. So now I'm going to move to my thousandths place. I have a 3 and a 3. Those are both the same also, so we're going to keep on going to the hundreds place. Now my hundreds place is different. I have 600 and 900. Which one is greater, 600 or 900? Very good, 900s. So I'm gonna rewrite my first number. I'm gonna rewrite my second number. And we said that 900s was greater than 600s, so the mouth of my symbol is going to be eating the larger number like we learned last year. I'm actually going to underline it so you can see which number we compared. So 23,643 is less than 23,987. Y'all did such an amazing job comparing numbers. Let's recap on our I can statement. I can compare two multi-digit numbers based on meanings of the digits in each place using greater than, equal, and less than symbols to record the results of comparisons. Great job. See you next time.